Who the hell's the turn around, boy? We got no business with you. Huh? I got jet and shit. Three for him. Huh? Last shot. Yours. Some bitch is here. Looks like you won't. I see him! Gonna barbecue your ass! And a righteous fire came out of heaven. Can, can you get around there? Buy me some time! Can I? Uh. Feel that, bitch? Grabbing cover! Let's go, you bunch of pansies! I got this shit! I got this shit! No business here for you, asshole. What the hell's that about? We welcome. You ain't. Behind something. Uh,
like a damn ghost. Fucking curve. I swear to God above, I just about shit myself. I put the gas to the floor and left that piece of shit. Greetings and salutations, and all that shite. You bear? Nikki sent me. Oh, I'm gonna marry that girl someday. Bear Donnelly. I own Nikki's da. Everything. He has me keeping an eye on the Robert O. Meatpacking plant. Who's running things over there? Not job by the name of Sonny Blue. Let's a room out to the butcher's loan sharks. Protection guys, too. If they can't do it there, they put their hurt to people in the street. Any chance Sonny's around the Robodo? Fuck no. Sonny only comes around to scare his people in the shape. But I'm here and one of his boys, a fella named Ralph, got caught skimming. They're working the bloody bastard over in the slaughterhouse to find out where he's got it stashed. Might be beneficial to pull his arse out of the fire. I'll see what I can get out of Sonny's goons. Watch your ass, Bear. Sonny Blue's people are scared of him. Might not talk. Why not make him more scared of you?
time for negotiating has done and gone, dipshit. You had your chance to make this shit right, and you didn't take it. So what's happening here is on you. Jesus, I know! Just stop, please! Not... Ah! Stop. Uh, Fucker's lucky he got his ass Run, out of here. Run, rabbit! Stop looking when he's dead. Shit, that him? Hey, God! Stop! Now you're done. Right out here. Sit your ass back. Who the hell are you? What do you know about the meatpacking plan? Tell me what I need to know. I say one word and I'm a dead man! You think this is a fucking game? All the shops paying protection up to the boss? I know where they are. Sorry. All units, pursuit is called off. Abandon search and return to patrol. Repeat, pursuit is called off. Abandon search and return to patrol. <laughs> Would you just move on? Hmm? This is the last day on this whole life! Run. Here we go! Run. Got him. Run. Oh. Run. Run. Get that fucking oil. Whoa, 
hole. Getting undercover. Found him. Time for. For negotiating has done and gone. You don't belong here, friend. You got your chance to make this shit out, and you didn't. This boy's mine. Tossing a Molotov. Coming through. Oh. These mud. <laughs> Passing, brother. Shit, shit, shit. I'm so fucked. How long's it been in here? Three, maybe four days. Days? Jesus, Jackie, we're just supposed to rough him up a little. Find out what I know. He was being an asshole. Wouldn't tell me shit. So I thought he needed a little time to simmer. Does it look like he's simmering now? What the fuck am I gonna do? Butcher's gonna grind me into burger. Jesus, I don't wanna die. 
You ain't dying. Let's just work our shift like normal, and then we'll come back and deal with this dead cocksucker. You see a welcome sign anywhere? We feeling good or bad about that? Pass! I'm ducking down! Oh, don't take me. I'm not ready. I didn't start like they expected. I don't deserve to die like this. This ain't fair. Why has this happened? Out of my way! Quit daydreaming and find that cunt! There! I'm gonna down here! You just think. Don't let that hide. spook get away. I ain't giving up, Daddy. Just a matter of time. Oh, on you, buddy. Fire it! Fire it now! Oh, shit. Time to die, asshole. Y'all can stop looking when he's dead. Yeah. I got that son of a bitch. Back to the grind, boys. Fuck is long gone. Nothing. Try over there. Back to the grind, boys. Fuckers long gone. Don't even know how. But take cover. Should have kept your head down. Don't you know you're dead? The fuck are you? I'm the one saving you, thieving ass. Let's go.
thing is to Yeah, you can stack up to that. Just one! You can't! Time for negotiating has done and gone, dipshit. You had your chance to make this shit right huh? and you didn't take it. So what's happening here is on you. Get ready for trouble. Oh, They're mistake, asshole. What's he thinking? Cover me while I reload. Folks like this ain't fun for me. Now, where you hope you feet, cocksucker? And it don't have to happen. Ah, Just ah. pay me what you can do. Understand? Oh I'll feed you to my fucking hog. Cover me while I reload. You bunch of fuck with. Don't you know your dad? Get behind something. Throw in a Molotov. I'm empty. Don't tell us with a motherfucker your own size. Killing 
Take him down! This area is for him. No one's paying off the sunny blue. It's really fucked him up with the butcher. Sonny's back over at the Robert O. His language has taken an especially colorful turn of late. I take it the butcher didn't appreciate Sonny's loan sharking and protection rackets being disrupted. You got that right. And the Shinola's hit the fan. Sonny's set on getting things back to normal. You know, keeping his people more scared of him than you. We'll see about that. Keep your head down till this is over, here. Yeah? I hear Sonny's a bit pissed at some mysterious colored fella disrupting his business. Even went all the way down to the meatpacking plant to wait for him. I'm the only one who heard that.
That's my girl! Circle back and see if he's over there. Huh? Poor bastard. Spider one, boys. Get out of here. Get him from the other side. <laughs> <laughs> Time to dive, prick! He's all yours, boy. We got ourselves a guest. Must have took off. Cucks! There! Ah. You, you're Just fucking dead. Away. I ain't giving up that easy. to run them off. Fuck away from there! Oh. 
Looking over here now. Where can they find this fuck? Where'd he go? Are you out of your mind? Never should have come here. Taking a shot. Who wills for the man who snuffs this fuck? is gonna do to me. Should have never fucked with Iris Point. Slaughterhouse is clear. Send your people. Hey, don't worry about the bodies. My boys will know what to do about them. If we can retake the distillery, that fat fucking barbieri won't have anywhere else to go. Thomas Burke came to the States as a boy uh, when his father fled Ireland, likely because of his involvement in the Irish Civil War. Um, after his father died of a heart attack, uh, Burke started running booze to support himself. I mean, he turned bootlegging into an entire industry, and Sal Marcano took notice. Uh, Burke worked his way up the ranks, but could never be made because he was an Italian. Bevis can't be happy about what you've been doing to the distillery's business. You got Carl's attention. He's back at the Sweetwater Distillery. Any idea how he'll react when I go in there? He's bug shit crazy swamp people. How do you think he'll react? Still, might be worth keeping him around. No one knows the bayou like he does. Oh, you one for this, Nikki? Damn right you do. Bevis is waiting for you. Real interested to see how you handle him. Send someone to Point Verdun to pick up my cash. Sure thing, Cher. Heading your way now.
is safe. Okay, I'm good to go. Coming through. What the hell? Oh my god, get out of here! You don't want to test me. Huh? This here is some private shit. Keep moving. Huh? I'm not hearing the grass passing, brother. Got our si he uh, oh. He's over here, you bunch of fuckwits! That shit's all oh. him! Oh, 
Yellow bastard. Where'd he go? Got lots of places to look. Go check if he's hiding back there. But why do I gotta go? Let me cover! Switching out ammo! Come get it, boy! Switching out ammo! Fucking went over there. Don't blame you for hiding. Looking over here now. Huh? Who? If he ain't here, I don't give two yeah, shits about it. That's him. Hey. <laughs> Switching out ammo! Grab a cover! Ooh, ooh. Ah. 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 Gotcha now, dipshit. Uh, <coughs> we got ourselves a Cover. Uh, no, look at 
get hit. You out of your mind? And fuck, Bark! You talk too much. <laughs> Emptied out the distillery. It's primed and ready for your boys. All for still standard. My boys are on the way. Everything's in place. The butcher's on his way. Time to put that rabbit dog down. Did Lincoln Clay convince Thomas Burke, Vito Scaletta, and the woman known as Cassandra to work together? He called a sit-down. He told them to meet him at an old plantation house in the bayou. When he had them all in the same room, he laid out how they were going to take down Marcano. Lincoln could be very persuasive. here while you still can.
You're him, aren't you? Lincoln Clay. Vito asked me to come see you. He wants our guys to do double the runs. Double the runs means double the chances of running into the Coast Guard. Well, I don't think I'm gonna be too much help dealing with them. So I will deal with those hijos de la gran puta. I need someone to keep the warehouses full, keep the money coming in. How much we talking? Enough to make it worth your troubles. You're gonna be hitting trucks for the contraband. Seems simple enough. I'll let you know when I get the first truck. You didn't just save his life, you know. You brought him back. The real Vito. What I mean is, I haven't seen this Vito in a really long time. And I don't want him to go back to the way he was. You got something to say, I'ma just say it. What's gonna happen next? You need him, and you need us now. So you give Marcano the fucking he deserves. Is it back in the freezer again? Would you believe me if I say no? No. I don't think so. But I believe very few people these days. And if Vito say this is the way things are, that's how they are. If you see any of Greco's men out there, you should deal with them. It will make it easier for us to conduct business. I got my hands on prime shipments out there. Go bust up some heads and bring it back here. I'll take it from there. Baby. Ah, you want to buy something? You need to talk to Cassandra. She said you could use some help. Assuming you're a manual. Assume at your own whisk, Lincoln Clay. So running the weed, y'all got a routine laid out? We take a boat to the bayou, grab the bales, bring them back. Bayou can be a rough territory. Dixie Mafia knows every inch. <laughs> Did those white boys scare you, Fred? Did they touch your zozo when you were a child? Cassandra failed to mention your charming personality. <sighs> I highly doubt she forgot. You do this kind of thing back in Haiti? Back in my country, I was a hoogan, a priest. What's a priest know about trafficking weed? <sighs> I did not run marijuana, Fred. My cargo was refugees, people. I saved their lives, got them away from Duvalier. But you probably don't know much about that. We gonna have a problem, you and me? Cassandra says we are partners, that everything is cool between us. Are we cool? Don't think I call it that. Neither would I. Sandra might be able to let go of what you did to our people, but I cannot. Maybe you'd be happier back in Haiti. It was not my chance to come here, leave my home. But I'm trying to make the best of it. Aren't we all? There are still Dixie Mafia scattered around the hollow. If you have the time, you should see to them. Convince them to leave. A shipment of weed is being delivered down in the bayou. Get a boat, use it to bring everything back.
You all right back there, lass? What's that? My die asking how I'm doing? Whatever have I done to warrant such fucking concern? A oh, shite girl, a simple yes or no would have been fine. Watch the left side. Hey, I don't give two fucks about Burke's little pet nigglet. I want the mick alive. Got it? I'm gonna give him an ass fucking. He's never gonna fucking forget. Bring him back fucking alive, that cocksucker. Piece of hardware. Fuck, I asked him. You see me trying to get my hand down? Oh, oh. I didn't think you still had it in you. You saw my response. Got to reload. Where is it? And I'll make 
make a real woman out of you, Miss Nikki. Should have saved a bullet or two. A nigger and a mech working together. Fuck me. I never thought I'd live to see the day. What can I say? Brave new world. Shall I leave then? I see the legs still giving you fits, huh, fuck up. Oh, ah, fuck you. You won't be so cocky once I take the acetylene to you. Fuck you! What do you think happens next, huh? You're gonna die, motherfucker. You're gonna hold next to me. You, your whole organization. You're gonna suck my dick in hell. Grab his legs. Time to get him into the garage. Fat cunt. We were never able to reconstruct precisely what happened to Barbieri, primarily because his body wasn't found until the mid-1980s. The Army Corps of Engineers was dredging the bottom of the Mississippi River, and his remains were found in the trunk of an old car. Both legs were broken so many times, there was barely any bone left. I think I'd learn to stay away from the craps cane. You want the best moonshot? They'll not leave thee, thy lone one, to pine on the stem. Since the lonely are sleeping, Go sleep there with him. You already finished with Barbieri. Barbieri? No. By a long shot. Already told you. Day slow. As for you, show up like Lazarus himself. Name thinking of myself. This chalky bastard is either one of the luckiest sons of bitches that's ever lived, or the kind of man that invites rotten, damn luck. So goddamn sure it was the latter. I have to admit, I was wrong about you. You can thank me by calling me by my name. Die. Lincoln it is, then. Those 
funny. Things get taken from us. We convince ourselves we go out and inflict the pain on someone else. A little mend what's busted up in the eight of us. But it doesn't, does it? No. It doesn't. I spent my entire goddamn life scratching and clawing at anyone who came along. Even if they were there to help. <laughs> the real fucking got me. It's the sense of changing. <sighs> Only way is forward. Now that Irish Point is back under your control, I'm gonna need you to bring in as much money as you can. Uh, Going after Marcano ain't gonna be cheap. Uh, I imagine you'll be wanting your cotton the proceeds. That's right. <laughs> Can't say I'm a fan of someone looming over me. But it deals it. I asked Nikki to manage those moonshine runs, but she can't bring them all on her own. That liquor hauls in a fair amount. We'll talk to her. She's around here somewhere if she ain't out quail hunting. Quail ain't in season. Oh, for her kind, it's always in season. <sighs> yeah. Oh, fuck. You'll excuse me. Oh, I have to go to see Mr. Barbieri. He's probably getting a little lonely. <laughs> lonely. I'd learn to stay away from the crafts games. Y'all next a tick. For earlier. My old man used to be whip smart. If anyone tried to pull some shit on him, he saw it coming a mile away. Now, fuck. Now he barely knows the goddamn day of the week. Said you could use some help. Some of our bars are down in the bayou. If you could get the shine from them and bring it back, it'd make my life a lot easier. The bayou ain't exactly my favorite place in the world. Come on now, the redneck assholes that live down there just love it when black folks drop by for a visit. <laughs> Ain't been time for small talk, but...
Lincoln, just because Barbier is dead doesn't necessarily mean this neighborhood is firmly in our control. If he's still got any men hanging around, you should think about clearing them out. Ain't going nowhere now, boy. Some bitch is here. Move your ass. I got this shit. Oh. Boy, that feels good. Yes.
God, I'm forgetting what those motherfuckers did to this place, Mr. Clay. I won't tease her. Ah, hey there, Frey. How is life running with her? I got it covered. Good. Because I'm getting word those Dixie Bousons are starting to interfere with our dwarfs. They can try all they like. Still won't change the outcome. You getting in touch with your artistic side? My wife used to draw on anything she could get her hands on. Half the time, she didn't even realize what she was doing. And yet, every stroke was perfection. She's still back in Haiti? Yes. It is where she is buried. Yes, we've all had our share of losses. Our losses, Frey, are nowhere near the same. I'm just trying to turn the page, set things right with you. And you think comparing the deaths of our loved ones will do that? Papa Doc had my wife tortured trying to locate me. He had the Tonton Makut bludgeon my children to death in order to save bullets. When I last saw my wife, her eyes had ruptured from the electroshock. My little boy, his face was caved in. And my little girl, she had been hit so hard she was decapitated. They were faultless. So you and me, Frey, we are nothing in common. Makano is an evil man. In that there is no question. But just because an evil man kills, it does not mean his victims are innocent. Innocence ain't a thing that exists around folks like us. At least not for long. Hell, I'm not even sure I know what it looks like anymore. I used to. Moss. But the bloody eye get the quick eye that picture fades. But that's not important right now. Important thing is getting our weed back from the Dixie Mafia. A large shipment of marijuana is at this dock. Get it and bring it back. Not worth as much money, but... Save your areas off limits. Get. What? You got what? it. Oh, what? damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Looky what the tides brought in. Oh, motherfucker! Getting my ass out of this shit.
press! Something to warm you up, boy?
Berg says you can help me keep the cops mellow. That true? Of course it is. I'm just getting a feel for how they do things around this precinct. But I can still make things happen. Hey, Lincoln, that prick Greco threw me out of my ass. Didn't give a shit I got a pregnant wife at home. Nice to be back on the job, that's all I'm saying. Coño, no necesito esta mierda. What? Trouble? Yeah, my whole fucking life. It's a letter from my grandmother. Writes me to wish my mother happy birthday. You know, who she saw get dragged away back in 10 October. Jesus. Don't. It's nothing. Fuck it. You got something for me? I got another truck stash ready for you guys to pick up. Really? Huh. What kind of guys have fucking pussies? No problem then? Not a one on my end. Good. So it shouldn't be a problem to bring more trucks. Sure, Alma. I'll see what I can do. After this guy and I screwed last night, he started yammering on and on about some shit. I was only halfway listening. But he hooked me when he started talking about this warehouse I had my eye on. My hand things. Behave now. I ain't gonna say. Oh, oh. Hey. Yellow motherfucker. Huh? Oh. We ain't merciful. <laughs> One stiff. Check that shit out. Where the fuck did find him, boys?
done lost one. Woo, duck it. Dog. I found it. Shit, he slipped away. He knows round. He's over here, get him! Y'all get over here, I see him! Buy me some time! God damn, that felt good! Something to Hey, Lincoln. Everything back to normal here now, thanks to you. I can go. Fuck it. You get that truck? Yeah. Let me guess. We need more. As many as you can find. Anything you grab helps us get this operation going. I thought I'd forgotten this song. You're from Cuba? Goddamn painted this grandmother of mine. 
She sent this fucking mental time bomb. He was playing when the policia came for my parents. The old man wasn't political. Hell, he was a clerk in the government. But he had this drinking butt in the city. Mr. Roberts. White guy. Always around. And I bet that motherfucker was real political. He slipped out of the country before Castro started putting down spies and traitors. My folks, though, not so lucky. Or smart. My papa, they shot right there. My mama. I don't know. So just you and your grandmother got out? One old lady and his Kermit brat pissing all over herself, wearing worth the bullets or the trouble. You ever think about going back for your mother? A few years ago, I heard she was at the Pinos before he shut down. Nothing after that. Sometimes I think you and Vito got the right idea. Fuck the past and kill every motherfucker that gets on the way of what's coming next. But I want to know. I, wa I want to know what happened to her. Is she still alive? So maybe I will set aside enough money to smuggle myself back in and see what I can find. Put that part of my life to rest. Keep the trucks coming, Lincoln. We're hitting the mother law here, my friend. I just got off the phone with some scumbag who's trying to get into my pantalones. Asshole gave me heads up of some big rigs that are carrying high-end products. Get them. No squirrel. Y'all get over here. I see him. Odds ain't looking down. Hit him from the other side. Get my ass out of this shit!
second to reload! There is no rest for the wicked. There's that fucker! from the other side.
whiskey everywhere and not a drop to drink. Wow. Please. Maybe she a drop every now and then. Barely 17 and ready to leave the nest. Sorry. You want the best uh. moonshine? This is the place to look. Careful, asshole. Perfect timing. I was just about to have lunch. How'd it go? Fast cars and shine. Was not to like. Word coming down is that some motherfuckers might try to hit you. So watch your ass. Yes, ma'am. Guess who I saw coming out of the market yesterday? Denny McGill. No shit, Denny McGill? I haven't heard that name in years. Fuckers married. Four kids. Oldest Rachel is six. Damn. Can you imagine having four kids right now? Not without there being some kind of ransom involved. <laughs> Every time I run to folks like him, they start asking me when I'm settling down, when I'm gonna have a family. It always makes me feel like I don't belong. Like there's something wrong with me. Ain't nothing wrong with you. Hell, look at me. Never knew my parents, don't know a damn thing about who I am or where I came from. That hadn't stopped the world from deciding for me. Keeps finding people who don't give a fuck about any of that. Like when you and me are kicking back, shooting the shit. We just cool. Well, I'm cool. You, on the other hand, are a pretty big fucking dork. A dork? <laughs> what are you, 12? Well, shit. Those are the days. I could get shit faced at night and still ace the math test the next day. <laughs> Listen, Lincoln. There's. Never mind. It can wait. Don't worry about what Denny McGill thinks. Fuck him. Yeah. Fuck him. Be careful out there. Danny fancied himself a race car driver, and he was damn good at it, too. But he hated these runs. Thought they were a giant four. He took care of them. Noise. We got no idea who's around here. Huh?
You need to get gone. I see you, motherfucker! Don't like folks skulking around our business. Come on out, boy! You gotta be real. Areas off sorry. limits. Holy no. shit! Move your ass! Ah. Which is mine. Something here don't like it. You know what here it is! I got me, you asshole! Give me some time. Gonna bury you. Fuck. Uh, 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 uh. Cannot shake my resolve. Looky what the top. Got up.
asshole! Christ, man, you're not messing around. So I take it business is good. The old man's pissing his pants, he's so pleased. He's not down to Chalky Bastard anymore. Surprised he hasn't petitioned the Vatican to have you canonized. Oh, but they don't take requests from the bottom of a whiskey bottle. Easy now, he's not that bad. Look, I appreciate your relationship with him, but there are things you just don't get. He's an asshole, a bastard, a selfish prick. Lincoln! I've been seeing someone. Her name's Darlene. Meant to tell you earlier. You gonna say something? Take it that's why Burke's been so hard on you. Then it always stick up for me. But... But he's not here anymore. No. He ain't. So where do you come down on it? Uh... I've never had much of anything. Or anyone, and what little I did have was taken away from me. So if there's someone out there, they'll make a difference to me who it is. When I was a little girl, I thought my father hung the goddamn moon. Fuck. He was everything to me. But then one day he gave me this look. Like he knew. It broke my heart. The first person to crush me was my own father. You want to turn your back on him, that's up to you. God knows he deserves it. Whatever you decide, just make sure you can live with it. It took him a while, but Danny finally started letting me go on some of these runs. And this route right here was hands down my number one favorite. Get on out there and kick some fucking ass. I've been doing nothing but eating ribeyes and drinking martinis. Huh? Oh, 63 Talk pounds only so make fun of this concerns you. That nose got him in. She got Got no business here. and ditch this godforsaken town. We have no Marcano trouble behind us. You do know the number of barrels that it end up leveled at us. Of course. But those barrels might have a test. <laughs> You're trespassing!
This ain't the place for you, son. Travel on the way. What the fuck you doing, boy?
been in this hey. place of right, thanks to you. Uh, look at who decided to stop by. Thought you forgot about me. Running weed takes time. That it does, Frey. Can't imagine what it must have been like running people. How many folks you think you got out of Haiti? I only remember those I could not save. Bullshit. When I was in country, once in a while we get a chance to evacuate a village before the napalm dropped. Wasn't our SOP, but we still did it. Had a couple close calls when the bombers showed up early. But I remember every single face. So how many were there? Forty-three. Should have been more, but some folks didn't trust us. Thought we were gonna march him into a shallow grave. Still remember the fear in their eyes. Nothing motivates quite as well as fear. Not a damn thing. So how would it? What was your count? Two hundred and twenty-six. Goddamn. One boat every night for ten months. Mostly women and children. The men were either enlisted or disappeared. We had more refugees than we knew what to do with. They didn't always survive the trip, but dying on the bateau running from Papa Doc was better than the alternative. Dodging Dixie cocksucker sounds like Christmas morning by comparison. If you would have told me 15 years ago that all this would happen, I would have called you crazy. I believe I'd die an old man with my family all around me. Yeah. Not in this life, anyway. No. Not in this life. Keep bringing in the marijuana, Frey. This is our life now. Go to this warehouse. Inside, there's a large stash of our wheat. Kill the assholes guarding it and then bring it back. You think I forgot what you did? You can blame Marcana all you want, but it was your men who ambushed my us. My men were following orders. We got rules. Not my fucking problem that you people don't understand. Yeah, well, I'm about to make it your fucking problem. This shit is this time. Goddamn. If it ain't the city's favorite pot-licking donkey, Thomas Burke. The fuck did you just say to me? Put the gun down, Burke. It's gonna take all four of us to bring down Marcana, so I don't want any more of this stupid bullshit. Bring down Marcana? These two used to work for Marcana. And this one? Do you know how many of my men this canard killed because Marcana told him to? Fuck him, and fuck you if you think I'm ever gonna trust him. Hey, these get the two. fuck out then. There's no sweat off my ass. You don't trust him? Good. Because I don't trust any of you. That doesn't change the fact that I destroyed Barbieri's operations, killed Doucette and those other redneck motherfuckers, and saved Joe ass from Greco's men. So here's what you need to decide right fucking here now. Either fall in line or get the fuck out. Just know. Second you step out that door, your name's getting added to my list, right beneath Marcano's. Now, if we're all done acting like goddamn children, let's go over the plan. In order to bring down an organization the size of Marcano's, we need to eliminate the people at the base and work our way up. It's the same thing I did not. <laughs> I know the military filled your noggin with all manner of tactics and schemes, but let's not overthink this shit. Let's say we go out to his house and shoot him. Shouldn't take more than an hour or so, not pending on traffic. And what you think gonna happen after? Everybody else just gonna lay down and die, you stupid ass motherfucker. Oh, Cassandra's nice. right. Just killing Marcano doesn't get us anywhere. One of his brothers will take over and we're right back where we started. So, first, we go after his lieutenants. 
Then, once they're killed, we seize their territory and move on to the Capos. Once the lieutenants in the Capos are killed, Marcano will be isolated and alone. And that's when we go after him. Hold on, what happens to those territories we get from Marcano's guys? Once it's in our hands, I'll decide who gets to run the day to day. I give you a district, you get the rackets and everything else. But I'm also counting on you to hold it. Keep that bastard from reclaiming it. One last thing. Y'all know that building that's going up across the lake? Hmm? It's building a casino. Marcano's constructing this so he can go legit. All his money's tied up into that thing, so once he figures out what we're up to, it'll limit his options. More importantly, it's an emotional attachment. Emotions make people irrational, greedy. So that's where we hit him. Right in the goddamn heart. Hey, nice speech. Think they bought it? Okay. They're all too greedy or pissed off of Marcano to back out now. At least until one of them decides to try the crown on for size. Well, if it comes to that, I'll handle it. The photos were a nice start and all, but I'm gonna need some actionable intel on those lieutenants. A place of business, where I can find them, you name it. The dossiers are nearly complete. I'll be ready to move when you are. I was also able to recruit some concerned citizens who are more than happy to share what they know about Sal's coalition of WAP assholes. Information on how to contact them will be included with the other intel. Appreciate it. Sure you don't need a ride? Oh, I do my own driving. Ooh. And the uh, systematic killing of Marcano's capos and lieutenants, that was part of the plan. Well, you're playing fucking patty cake, Christ. Look, you want to bring somebody down, you destroy the foundation they're standing on. It's the same basic op we ran over Nam. Lincoln, come pick me up. There's something we need to talk about. It's about Marcano? No, it's something else altogether. Just get here. All right. See you soon.